behalf of myself and my pause for effect wife pause for reaction but seriously folks I never believed that this day would come I thought there'd only ever be a Mrs Vernon Tomlin if I had a mishap with my maracas pause for you're not laughing <laughs> Is that been hot clear? Perfectly. I'm sure Roy will appreciate it. Oh, See, you, you, you haven't got any good gags, have you? Because I'm, well, I, I'm struggling. Relax, with, uh... you're the groom. You're not supposed to be funny. Just be yourself. Steve. I know, I know that you've, you've not got much time for me, you know, and we, look, we've never really seen eye to eye. Well, no. Let's not pretend. I wasn't going. Oh. Look, it's you that's marrying me, Mum, not me. Yeah, I know. And I realise, look, I, I, I'm not the sort of bloke you might have wanted. It doesn't matter what I want. It matters to me. And I want you to know, despite all my faults, I, I love, I love, love your mother. And I'm, I'm going to make her happy and I, I'm, I'm going to care for her. Yeah, well, uh, just make sure you do, eh? Don't this brew what? I've got to, got to make myself beautiful and all, you know. We'll get a wriggle on, you've only got five hours. Why don't you come with me? You're going to take root on that sofa. No, Tar. Yeah, well, it might help you take your mind off things. What a wedding. Fair point. Look, I know you're upset, love, and I completely understand, but sitting there moping ain't going to fix it. Well, maybe it's past fixing, eh? Oh, come on, Jay, you don't mean that. No. How could she do it, ma'am? How could she leave me standing there? Is this really any different from any of your other rounds? I mean, apart from the fact that she got on the train and you stayed on the platform. I'd say it was quite a big difference. She shouldn't have gone. Well, maybe you should have gone with her if you had. Chances are you'd have made up by the time you got to the airport. I think so. She lied to me. Looks like she lied to me the day we got married and all. Oh, Jason, much as it grieves me to say this, she loves you as much as you love her. So stop moping and pick up the phone. No way. Ma'am, she was the one that bogged off to Italy, not me. It's up to her to make the first move. And what if she's saying the same thing? I'm not calling her. I've got some pride. Oh, really? Right, well, um, take it from someone who knows. Pride makes rotten company. Doesn't keep you warm at night. Morning. Mm. Are you not going to work today? Too busy. Got a meeting with Colombian drug cartel in Rise at two. I've said sorry. What's that change? Still. There'll always be Weatherfield outside the front door. Day after that. The day after. The whole flaming year until another one rolls on. Are you going to work or not? Not. Because it's Liz McDonald's wedding and you can call and ask Gran if you don't believe me. I believe you. Oh, oh you do? It's just a little bit late now. You look absolutely stunning. Oh, thank you. It's all down to Maria, mind. Uh, no way. Can't do anything without the raw material. That Vernon's a lucky so-and-so. He doesn't deserve you. What's wrong? Oh, I'm so sorry, Maria. I'm ruining all your hard work hey, now. don't be so silly. Um, are you about done here, love? Yeah, um, I'll pick up my gear tomorrow if that's all right. Yeah, no problem. Oh, Maria. Thank you so much, oh, darling. Thank cheers. you. All right, well, see you later. Thanks, love. I don't know. Weddings, eh? Put you through the ringer as much as funerals, I reckon. I, I've been up and down like a yo-yo every time I've wed. I just wish it were that simple. Have they got a fag? <sighs> I 
keep hearing this little voice saying, this isn't right, it's not right. What isn't right? The wedding. Me and Vernon. Oh, I keep trying to ignore it and get excited. But I can't. I mean, I've been telling myself, just you get through today and it'll all be fine. And then Jim shows up. Jim. I know it makes no sense. But when I saw him, I realised I could be making the biggest mistake of my life. And then three times a lady, it's going to segue into she's a lady. She's a lady! Oh, Sir Thomas Jones and his finest! Always knows a place. She's got stars, she's got grace, she's a lady. My kind of woman. Single are you? Maybe. Maybe not. Your call, baby cakes. I've time to kill. And I've got six dozen triple artists to prick. Tough the reminder. Here's <laughs> <laughs> a card, isn't he? Trouble is, he's never had the love of a good woman. Yeah, I guess he's been. Uh, changes your life forever, that. She she becomes your life. That's today. Not long eaten. <laughs> to me, I don't care. Liz is everything to me. She's my be all and an end all. You, you'll understand what I mean when you when you hear the readings. Yeah? Go on then, give us a sneak preview. Go on, yes, 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 you might not be able to hear it later on above all the snivelling. Um, above all the laughter, more like. But, uh, yeah, yeah, go on, yeah, yeah, all right, go on. Um, right, this this first one, it's um, it's an Eskimo love song. <laughs> Listen, if you're going to take the mic, I will. No, no, no. I'm just wondering if you're going to do it in a husky voice. <laughs> I knew it. As soon as I saw you and Jim together last night, I knew there was something going on. No, there's nothing going on. How can you even think that after all we've been through? Well, you've just said that you might cancel your wedding because of him. What am I supposed to think? <sighs> Believe me, I don't want Jim. But I want what he used to be. What we used to have. You'll never be 16 again, love. Well, maybe not. But I can feel it. And when I saw Jim, the ghost of him, I knew then exactly what I'm missing. Passion. Something intense. Deirdre, I know me and Jim are history, but when we were together yesterday, I felt my heart racing. Yeah, well, my mother had put that down to high blood pressure. Yeah, well, it's just as bad for me, I know that. I mean, look at the fling I had with Derek. That happened because me and Vernon don't have that kind of excitement. Then why the hell did you agree to marry him? I don't know. Because I, I felt sorry for him and he looks at me with that hang dog face, but I do care about him. Well, he certainly loves you. So he isn't Mr. Excitement, but that doesn't mean it, it can't work. I mean, Lord knows my marriage is no Alton Towers, but we're very, very happy. Vernon will never let you down. I know. I know he'll look after me better than the Jims and Derricks of this world ever could. But I don't want to be on a pedestal. I want to be on the edge of my seat. Wondering what happens next. Well, I certainly am. What are you gonna do? Vernon is a good man. He doesn't deserve a sham. But if I chilled him, he'll be devastated. So? I don't know, Deirdre. I don't know. <laughs> What are you doing here? Just coming in for a bacon butty. You're in Italy. Not me. Socks in the pants, yeah. Huh? Been Sarah's case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute. You're here, but Sarah's case. Yeah, she's in Italy. All right, we've had a few words. 
Why don't you just wander off to Italy, leaving you on your own? Yep. When's she back? I don't know, all right? How's about you grill me some bacon instead? Right. I said, what are you doing tonight? I, I hope you're not celebrating New Year's on your Todd. I want nothing to celebrate. A couple of cans of company, that'll do me. So was the probation officer optimistic or not? Kevin. I asked him to be honest with me. And he was. I reckon too honest. So you could go to prison? Oh. Might not come to that, though. But it could. I can't believe in a week's time. I'm scared. You're not the only one. So, don't pay to worry. It's not going to change anything. Just keep our fingers crossed. We shouldn't have to. If only that stupid girl realised. It's not down to Rosie. He took advantage of her. And we're still a family. We'll get through this. You, um, you need to make a decision, love. None to be made, is there? I can't do it. Well, uh, I think you could go to the registry office for me and just tell everybody I couldn't face them. Yeah, don't worry. I'll sort it out. Awful messing everybody about like this. They'll get over it. You're doing the right thing. It's better a, an awkward week or two than years and years of unhappiness. Let's just hope Vernon sees it that way. Yeah. No, oh, no, you keep them. Good luck. Thank you. Kept you. What are you doing here? Well, I was counting on you having a fag, so I was. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm trying to stop. Oh, looks like it. Well, you can't blame me for having one last one to steady my nerves. Don't mean I'm up, does it? Doesn't it? See, some habits are very hard to kick, so they are. You'd be surprised. Especially when they're bad for you. Oh, well, come on, Miss Miss. You and I have made a lot of mistakes over the years. But underneath it all, nothing's changed between us. You're still the wee girl I married. Jim, I don't want this. Yes, you do. Because I love you. I always have. And you? You love me. No. No, I don't. Yeah, I did once. Once. There wasn't anything I wouldn't do for you. That was a long, long time ago. Yeah, well, it can be. It can be the same thing again. All we need to do is pick up the thread. No! Do you know what? I really care about you. And I wish you well. But I don't love you anymore. So what the hell's the last few days been about, then? I was just being friendly. I don't think so. You were following your heart. And now you're following your head because you think it's too bloody late to cancel this ridiculous wedding? <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong. Really? So you really love that little drummer boy? I don't think so. Just go, will you? Okay. You tell me, Elizabeth, that you love Vernon. And I'll never bother you again, I swear. Mom! Yeah, thanks. Have you seen Molly's wrap? We're freezing without it. Where are you going? The wedding. With Fizz there? No way. Oh, uh, just because Fizz is going doesn't mean... Yes, it does. Dad! Fizz has done nothing wrong. It's not fair. She should be made to feel awkward. No, nor us. What, are you saying you're ashamed of me now? Do you really want me to answer that? Look, I know I've made a mess of things, but... I've been thinking... 
Maybe I should go back to Oak Hill. I beg your pardon. Well, isn't that what you want? <laughs> that ship has well and truly sailed, lady. We broke our back for the sake of your education and look where it got us. Your father could go to prison next week and you're standing there asking us to fork out for school. Well, I can't win with you. Whatever I say is wrong. Maybe I should just say nothing. Maybe you should. Right. Your carriage awaits me. FAB, right, have you got the rings? Yep. One for your finger, one for your nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good one. <laughs> Can't wait to speak. Yeah, I'm glad he put the punch in one of his punchlines now. Are we ready? Yes, I've got everything. Uh, reading, vows. Yeah, right. Ah, no, I, I haven't. Right, you go on. I'll, I'll, I'll be out in a sec. It's none of your business anymore, Jim. None of my business. None of my business, Elizabeth. I love you. I don't care what anyone else says. As far as I'm concerned, you are my wife and you always will be. Do you understand me? Telling me that you want to marry a snivelling apology of a man like that? Well, no way, Elizabeth, you're mine! Where is it? He's done a runner! Yeah, I won't be that lucky, mate. Stupid! You see, you're not listening to me, Vernon! Do you think for one minute I'm gonna let you take my wife away from me? No chance! She loves me! Not you! You stupid! You want to get through it? Oh, no, You've no, got to get no, through me no. first! Even no! You want her to marry that no more? He said life! No! Oh, I'm so sorry! Just help him get him inside! Hide, will you? Come on! Come on! Just go, you! You're going to make a terrible mistake, Elizabeth. Please! Stephen, I'm only doing that. Oh, for forget it! I swallowed your sub story up line of flaming sinker! No. I gave you a job, I gave you money, I rolled out the red carpet for you, all because I thought you wanted to change. Because you wanted to be a granddad for Amy. I do, I do. No, you don't. What I do. no I you do. don't! It was all about this! You promised me, promised me you'd leave him alone, but you couldn't, could you? You just couldn't let it go. Just. just go, will you? This was well upset, you know. I hope everything's all right. Oh, women are always blubbing at weddings. Ah, oh, Michelle's terrible. We'll need a flaming canoe to get down the aisle when we get spliced. You sure this... You look gorgeous. Yeah, but this dress never used to cling, you know. I feel so bloated already and I'm only three months gone. What are you talking about? Well, you said yourself before I'm starting to waddle. I was... I was kidding. Well, if that's a waddle, it's the sexiest one I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, you won't be saying that when I've got the turning circle of a super tanker. There'll just be more of you to love. <laughs> oh, please, you'll be telling me you like something to hang on to next. It's hard to love a bit. I beach. love you, all right? Now get in the car, chunky. Got a wedding to go to. <laughs> hey, they say it's bad luck to see your bride on the morning of the wedding. They're not kidding. Have some of this. Mm. Babe, wh wh why did you come back? I... Dev's taken Bob to the medical centre. Oh. Get him checked over. You should get seen to as well. <laughs> no chance. I'm getting married in half an hour. Don't be silly. We have to cancel. You could be concussed or anything. We're getting married. Else all this has been for note. <laughs> Hey, have you seen the state of you? Do you want to look like this on wedding photos? Well, it doesn't matter what I look like. Babe, you look stunning. That, that's all that matters. The uh, police are going to want to talk to you. No. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to report this. Vernon, it could have killed you. 
fire report this, he'll go to prison. Jim's your dad, Steve. I, I, I wouldn't want that to happen. I'll, I'll, I'll smooth things over with Bob. Well, it's more than my dad deserves. <laughs> hey, I'm not doing it for him. If you want to step in. Anyway, I can afford to be magnanimous, eh? Cos I won in the end. <laughs> Babe. Um, there you go. Go on. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, look at that. It's going to be a wedding gift. It's bent, not broken. Yeah, a bit like me. Uh, the, the, the broken, broken bit of me. I'm going to make it to that altar if I have to crawl up that aisle. Hey, just rest a minute. The brooch is... It's beautiful. Listen, you've got to get hold of Deirdre. It's sharpish. Deirdre? Yeah, she's at the register office sending all the guests home. What? Just tell her to get them back. It's on again. Mum, what's going on? Oh, I'll explain later. Just do it. We're going to run out of time. Only hurts when I laugh. Now, you're all right to be best yeah. man, cos Bob's out of action. Yeah, of course. Come on. Come on. Amber! Plasters and tissues, go up, quick! Hey, and a neck brace! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm only kidding. Just it's, go, it's will you? Bit, I don't get this. Why have you told Deidre to cancel it? I'll explain later. But, well, have you tried ringing her? Of course I have. Voicemail. You just make sure the guests stay where they are. You all right, mate? Oh, yeah. I'd never better. Yeah, come on, start the engine. We need to be there ten minutes ago. Come on. Uh, no, no, I don't want you speeding. Not with the state he's in. If you just take it nice and steady, please. You're the boss. Where's Steve? He's just gone on ahead to explain the delay. All right, go on. All right, take it easy, sunshine. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, ta. Good luck. All right. Oh, no, no, you're all right, love. Just check that's it, will you? I'd rather tell everybody at once. Oh, thank heaven oh. for that. I thought we were going to be late. Hey, good turnout. Yeah, great. Where the hell are they? There's been a problem. It's off. you kidding. What's happened? Well, I'm not sure. Liz just told Deirdre to tell everyone it's cancelled. I mean, better back out to work then. Poor Ven. Get your head back, man. Get, get a move on. No, 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 I'm trying to put my makeup on here. If you could just uh, keep it under. 30. Nice and steady. In shape. Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Lunch. Yeah. Well, I could have had me hit done in less time than this, including the flight to Poland. Well, I hope they haven't had a car accident. Oh, that's nice. Look on the bright side. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. Right, uh, that's everyone. Right. Everything all right? <laughs> if I could just have everybody's attention, please. Sorry. I'm afraid there's been a bit of a hiccup. It's off, I'm afraid. 
Well, well, they're all right, aren't they? I don't know any details. I, I just know it's been cancelled. Liz sends her apologies. Sounds like somebody's got cold feet. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by cancelled? What do you think she means? So, if you could all, um, well, leave, basically. Mm. What about the reception? Oh, very sensitive. Oh, this is dreadful. Well, Betty won't be pleased. She's 250 volivants waiting at the polls. What did she say? Just that it's off. What did she say? Why? You know, I'm sure Liz will explain everything. Uh, who, who do you think jumped ship, him or her? Oh, eh? Norris, will you mind your own? Well, it's not a mystery. Is it that? Steve, what's happened? Right, everybody back in. Steve? The wedding is back on. Oh, but, but Deirdre said... Yeah, I know, but there's been a misunderstanding, so come on, chop, chop! Oh, I'm not going to add enough of this. Oh, no, 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 back inside, please. Don't you jostle me. I'm not jostling you, just get back in. Well... She told me it was cancelled. I know, but I've just spoke to her and it's definitely back on. It's definitely back on, everyone, so they'll be here any minute, so come on, please. Could you all go back inside? I I'm sorry. I'd better go and find the registrar. What the hell is going on, Steve? Eileen, I can honestly say I haven't got a clue. I can't believe Jim. How's Fern? Well, he's a bit battered, but he's all right. Now, why did she want to cancel? What the hell's going on? You've got blood on your shirt. Ready? As we'll ever be. Welcome, everyone, to the marriage of Vernon and Elizabeth. So, all I can do to put a smile on that miserable fizz of yours? Doubt it. Brew for me and I'll love, please. Bill, tell him a dirty joke or something, will you, love? He's putting the customers off the grub. How long have you been sat there? Don't know, about an hour or so. Young love, eh? Yeah, glad I'm past it sometimes. <laughs> well, when we drunk these, get your backside over here, aren't it? You are? About time you did some work. What, you saying I can have my job back? Well, I've got a customer who wants a garage demolition. Mood you're in, you'll probably have it down in an hour. Please repeat after me. I, Vernon Tomlin, Take you, Elizabeth Jane MacDonald, to be my wedded wife. Hi, Vernon Tomlin. Take you, Elizabeth Jane MacDonald, to be my wedded wife. I hope she knows Elizabeth what she's doing. doing. I, God, she Elizabeth does. Jane MacDonald, take you, Vernon Tomlin, to be my wedded husband. I, Elizabeth Jane MacDonald, take you, Vernon Tomlin, to be my wedded husband. Then I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh, oh, sorry. 
Ryan Groom. Hey. You smile, Liz. Hi. You're gonna carry it over the threshold, Vern. Hey, the way I'm feeling, I hope she's gonna carry me over. <laughs> right, gentlemen. The doors. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Come here, son. No getting away from it now. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, thanks again for not shopping me, Dad. Not another word. Oh, happy day. Better, thank you so much for doing all this. It looks absolutely yes, lovely. My pleasure, love. How was the ceremony? Yeah, good. We got there in the end. Good. Now, congratulations, you oh, two. You. Oh. It was a lovely ceremony. Thanks, love. Heck of a wedding, eh? That's one way of putting it. It certainly looks decorated. It certainly does. I can't believe Jim did that to you. It's unforgivable. We weren't even sure what had happened. Sorry about the delay. I must have thought we'd bottled it. <laughs> uh, Mum, can I have a word? Uh, do you know, Ken is over there and he's not even been given a glass of champagne yet. Don't worry, we'll soon remedy that. I'll, I'll have one for Deirdre as well. Oh, you I can't believe it's New Year's Eve and you're sat here watching a Western. No much to celebrate, have I? I know it must be hard for you, love, but come on. I mean, even if it's just for one night, can't you try and forget it? I mean, come down the Rovers, all your mates are there. Sarah isn't. She'd rather be in a different country. Right. Well, tried the softly, softly approach. Plan B. Ma'am, 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 what are you doing? Are you drunk or something? Of course I'm drunk, it's New Year's Eve. Ma'am, <laughs> stop it. What are you playing at? Oh, all right, OK, it's your choice. You can sit here with me and I'll do everything in my power to irritate you. Ma'am. Or you can go upstairs, have a shower, put on your new shirt and come to the rooms. Fine, OK. You win. <laughs> you don't play fair. No. Nope. Which is why I always win. You. Didn't expect to see you. Thought Tony would have wished you off to some fantastic, exotic location. He's stuck in Dusseldorf Airport. He's got to stay one more night. Oh, New Year's Eve. Bummer. I know, so I'm afraid you's like that stuck with me. Excuse me, I've got to go for a piddle. Woo! Babe, I know that woman is your sister-in-law, but I cannot stand her. Not the first time I've heard of that. She's all over you. No, she's not. Did you not just see how she kissed you there? Forget it, it's New Year's Eve. Actually, it's the friendliness she's been all year. Yeah, well, she's a bit too friendly for my liking. Hey, come here. Only one woman for me. Are you handsome? You all right? Oh, have a drink, you miserable cat. Fine. Fancy a pint, then? Not too right. All oh, right, well, I'll just talk to myself. Well, at least Vernon's injuries seem to explain your announcement about the wedding being cancelled. Yeah. 
I wonder why she decided to go through with it. Where's Liz? Oh, she's done a runner, Deidre. Yeah. She's got to change. <laughs> she's got more outfits than Primark. I'll uh, just go and see if she needs a hand. Hey, Deidre, thank, thank you for today. We couldn't have done it without you. Hi. Hi. OK, you're going to tell me what happened. Well, Jim just barged yeah, in. No, not the fight. Marion Vernon, after everything you said. Well, I could hardly not, could I? I am holding this broken, battered man in my arms. He's looking at me with a puppy dog face, telling me how much he loves me. What could I say? I'm really sorry that my ex has just beaten you to a pulp, but the wedding's off. But do you love him? Right, Mum, stop fobbing me off. What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? I got married. Yeah, eventually. But why'd you tell Deirdre to cancel it? Oh, I just... I got cold feet for about two seconds. Happens to loads of brides, doesn't oh, it? practically a tradition. <laughs> then your dad kicked off. We had all that. I, I couldn't get in touch with Deirdre. But it all turned out all right in the end. It all turned out all right in the end. It's hardly till death do us part, is it? Will you stop worrying? I'm OK. I got married and I'm happy. Well, if you're happy, I'm happy. Congratulations. Hey, come here, you. Oh. Listen, I know I don't say this very often, but... Thanks so much for everything. This place, everything. Oh, get over yourself, woman. It's New Year's Eve. Let's go and get squiffy, Mrs. <laughs> Tomlin. Ladies and gentlemen, the blushing bride. Did I tell you Tony's thinking about us going to the Maldives over Easter? He says it's lovely. I don't think I've ever met anyone so well-travelled as him. And yet he can't get a flight home from Germany. Hey! At least he knows women and girls not in here with a pie and a pint or vegging out with a DVD on the couch. Oh, sorry, have I just summed up your love life? <laughs> now allow me to sum up yours. Smarmy bloke. Wafts a couple of airline tickets under your nose and your soul. Oh, nice try, lead bugs. But you know what? You better face facts because Tony is more of a man than you'll ever be, and he knows how to trick a lady. Uh, you just keep believing that, sweetheart. Not all ladies need money chucking at them to make them feel happy. Ouch. Uh, should we get off, babe? Come on. I don't know how you both keep it up, you pair. Yeah. Spectacular, the down but not out, the shaken but barely stirred, Mr. Vernon Hitman Tomlin! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Well, I suppose by now you all know what, uh, what happened earlier. <clears throat> well, all I can say is I am a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> now, I might not. Be at my best. When is it? But, Norris, please. But I have got my woman. Oh. No, let, let me tell you that love is the most powerful painkiller known to mankind. I, I, I owned an ad about what, what I was going to say tonight, and nothing really. See, words can't. I love you so much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's blooded. <laughs> uh, I know some of you are thinking, third time round, grandmother, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> but I know that I've made the right decision today. I have married a wonderful gentle, kind man. 
And also, Vernon has taught me that there's a lot more to a man than... Good looks. Personality. Hard work. It's all right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot more to a man than just what's on the outside. I know that he really cares for me. And he makes me feel happy. And he makes me feel loved. And I'm very proud to be called Mrs. Vernon Donnelly. <laughs> Are you all right, Fizz? You've had a lot of that bubble. I'm fine. Besides, I've got a fully... a quality, fully fied medical professional to look after no. me on time. <laughs> look, Fizz, I just wanted to say... <laughs> This? Can I give these up at New Year? Again? Yeah, me and all. Price is mental. Not me. I love smoking. It's important though, isn't it, eh? Bringing in the New Year with them that are closest to you. Right, I better get back to the party then. Hello, everybody. Right, are we ready? Yeah. You know, whatever happens with Ryan. Right then. We will get through this Ten, together, you know that. Ten, nine, yeah, eight, I know. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, Have I? Yeah, just. Oh man, that is typical me, that. <laughs> <laughs> Begging me. Oh, come here, handsome. It's beautiful. Listen, I've been thinking. How do you fancy a holiday? When? Soon as. What's brought all this on? Nothing, just fancied it. Most nights we just stay in watching TV. Do you fancy a change? Nice romantic change. Yeah, of course I do. Deal then. Don't let it be said I don't know how to treat my woman. <laughs> I'll scope out the internet tomorrow. Nice place, just the two of us. Just the three of us? Mm. Well, later on tonight at 10, celebrate 50 years of Scott Sport with some well known faces. Then at 11.15, from SR to Lavahid, looks at 50 years of TV commercials on STV. Then at 11.50, see in a new year with Hogman A, live from Edinburgh. And don't forget, there's £10,000 to be won with a watch to win tonight, and the question is coming up during the break.